Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Holidays, whatever holiday you're celebrating. We have already started our holiday, Data and I, and very excited for it. This year we are exploring the south end of Australia and the south end of New Zealand. And this is Christmas Eve for most of you. You are going to be spending time with your family, whether you're looking forward to it or you're not looking forward to it. I have a great special uh, practice that will make it a wonderful day for everyone. Hi there, Rachel Jane Groover here and you're watching Awaken TV. This is the place where you get your weekly practice on presence, purpose and practical spirituality and it's holiday week here and I've got a special uh, practice that will help you to um, connect more with your family or whoever you're spending time with because I find that going into spending time with family for many people, it brings up a lot of judgment. You know, it's putting you in a position where sometimes you revert back to who you were as a kid or, um, you know, some memories and they can judge you and you can judge them. Christmas day in Australia is usually warm. It is a gorgeous day here today. And the, the usual Australian Christmas is outside, either around the barbie or a potluck where people bring a lot of food and it's sitting down, enjoying the sunshine, enjoying conversation, and usually a nap in the afternoon, all outside. We've been known our uh, Kennedy family to bring out couches and everyone naps after the big feast in the middle of the day. What is Christmas or what is Hanukkah? What is your family get together like? Well, here's my special tip. Wouldn't you agree that when we get around family, we go into patterns? Well, how about breaking that pattern? This is my invitation to you to have a look at your family gathering and who is the person in that group that has been the least seen, the least heard, the least appreciated this year, do you think? And sometimes it's easy to see just energetically who's been supported and appreciated and who hasn't. And so you pick that person and go up to that person and give them an appreciation. Appreciation is a gift. Starting the word with the word you, you are, you are this, I see you are this. Maybe it's, you are a good mother, you are a good father. And give them that appreciation. You'll probably surprise the pants off them, right? And I'm not talking about the person who is uh, maybe sitting in the corner, who's drinking way too much, who's a little grabby, you know what I mean? Wide birth from them, wide birth. But the person who you want a connection with and you just feel like they have not been seen or heard, go up and give them an appreciation that they will remember for this year. Giving an appreciation, a sincere appreciation to someone creates intimacy and that can be sometimes scary when it's your family. It's about creating a new pattern of that appreciation and for some of you it's just a really easy thing to do in your family and to celebrate that over this week. And most importantly, enjoy yourself. Dada and I wish you such a happy holiday. I hope you have a wonderful week wherever you are. If you like this video, subscribe to this channel and feel free to share it with other people that you know are going into either a challenging or an amazing week visiting family. And remember, however you are feeling, whether you're feeling amazing and looking forward to this week or you're not feeling good, a lot is coming up. Maybe you've lost a family member this, this year or you're going through some challenge, some grief. Everything is temporary, so stay as present as you can and enjoy each moment as much as you possibly can. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next week on Awaken TV. Mm -hmm.